Did you know you're twice more likely to get divorced if you watch P in a relationship? You want to know why that is? Well, today I'll be going over how P ruins relationships. The first one is that you set unrealistic expectations by you watching videos and all that stuff. Uh, it can make you think that your partner can perform the acts even though they can't. Or maybe you want a certain body part body parts like a different size or whatever even though yes technically you get surgeries and all that but there's really no point in doing that so most likely it can't happen and overall it's just going to make you set the bar high to something that doesn't even exist that's never going to happen and as a result of that the second thing i want to go over is that they have a higher chance of cheating because you might be dissatisfied with your partner and you want something better because you're going to be mad at your partner that they can't perform the acts or have certain body parts or whatever just in the way that you want even though even though the stuff and all that is not real the videos and all that another thing that ruins relationships is it causes premature ejaculation if you don't know what that is is when you release too early because your dopamine production comes in too fast and your partner might be disappointed because you did it so fast and you won't be able to have the time to actually bond and build an experience. The next one that correlates with the first um, reason I listed with the, ex with the expectation and is that it can cause PIED, which stands for P-induced erectile dysfunction, which is when you watch so many videos that it sets the bar for you for what you find attractive now. So when you try to do it in real life with your partner, your thing won't work anymore because all you used to seeing is like the fake stuff with the exaggerated elements, all this camera angle, lighting, um, just the reduced fake stuff and it's going to ruin your perception of the real life thing and you probably have to take pills you can recover from it though it takes around like six eight months generally for some men it could come sooner some it'll take longer but but the general is around that time the fifth one is that it makes it more aggressive during intercourse because because in the videos what well, depends what videos you watch is you watch like the violent ones it's like rough and all that then you're gonna try to mimic that even though the real life is not like that it's supposed to be a a, a beautiful bonding experience not like some rough god dang violent stuff that's not how it works and your partner might feel uncomfortable with that or you might actually hurt them by being too aggressive so the other one is you show less love to your partners this one kind of ties it back in with the first and second reasons but like i said before you're gonna have like the reason why you're not really gonna show love to your partners anymore is because you're going to be dissatisfied with them because they won't be able to perform certain, like, acts. You probably won't like their physical stuff anymore because all you're used to seeing, like, the videos and all that when, when it's, like, all exaggerated and all that. Now, this one, let me guys know if you think this is a problem, but being overly, like, too intimate, now, there's nothing wrong with it. But I feel like you have to draw a line somewhere to where you're not over overdoing it just because of you see that in the videos and all that stuff. Um, I feel like P makes you obviously you crave it more. Your brain craves it more and more. I feel like you're going to try to be you might be too too intimate. Once again you have to draw there's nothing wrong with it, but you have to draw the line where you're not too, too, too intimate because your partner might get tired of it or feel uncomfortable by it because you're overdoing it. Another one is that 
you're wasting partner time and family time by watching the videos like in the bathroom or whatever. All that time spent, like 30 minutes to maybe like an hour, a few hours, like watching videos, scrolling through it. You could have took that same amount of time into actually putting it into something that matters, like spending family time, actually building your relationship, making it grow stronger, spending time with your kids, if you have a family. Another thing that it does is that you become more secretive and more isolated from your partner because you're going to be watching the videos and obviously you don't you probably wouldn't want them to know that you're watching that stuff so obviously you're gonna be more isolated more secretive <clears throat> by being in the bathroom or wherever you want to wherever you do it at and by being so isolated there's going to be a disconnection between you and your partner because you're spending most of your, if not all your time alone and on top of that they're probably going to think you're cheating on them because you're being so secretive and all that, spending less time with them, acting sus and all that, so they probably gonna think you're cheating on them. So yeah, that's going to do it. I wanted to go over some reasons how P ruins relationships. Let me guys know your story down below. If you experience one of these things or your partner has done it to you, just let me guys know. Click the link in the description to join my school community where we can build like-minded community to help millions of people around the world and their pee addiction just discuss the topic give each other tips and like share each other's stories help each other grow and all that so click the link to join the tribe and i'm out